how to move HTML site to WordPress content management system. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you the process that I follow when moving sites from HTML to WordPress. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a website built on static HTML5 structure. So I'm going to grab this website and install a WordPress in its location. For us to do that, we need to log into our web hosting account and locate databases. Press on MySQL databases and simply create a new database. Let's create a database. Now that's created, let's go back to MySQL databases and now create a user who can access that database. The username can be anything that you want. Password should be a strong password. And well here, let's actually write things down. That was a database name. That was the user for that database. And let's put this sample password in there so that we always have a backup of what we're inserting here. Let's create a user and finally let's go back to MySQL databases and associate that user with that database by pressing on add user to database. Let's press on it. Next step it's going to ask us Okay, what privileges do you want to give that user accessing that database? Select all privileges. Let's make changes. Let's go to the main menu. Let's press on apps. Yours may be located somewhere else. Most modern web hosting service providers do allow you to install WordPress using one-click apps. Yeah. If your web hosting service provider does not give you that option, then go to Rank Your YouTube Channel, home page, press on magnify an icon, and simply search Install WordPress. Because I have video tutorials that shows you how to install WordPress in cPanel manually. So let's go and press on the one-click app, locate WordPress, press on it. And now we can read through all these details. Let's install this application. Here you can remove the directory. Just remember where we're installing this. We're installing this to our main domain. So that means this static HTML site will be moved to WordPress, which will then become dynamic. We can press on license agreement, read through it, because we are accepting the agreement here. The update related things, you can leave most of the things at default, but surely you can read more about it. Let's take a look at these settings. These settings may be generated automatically but you can always remove the username for the admin and just give your username here or your name and so on so that's totally up to you because it is your wordpress site so let's now write that down as well that's for wordpress dashboard password let's look at the password we can change the password to be more stronger if we want let's grab the password so we have a backup you can always save this file here the email is your email title you can provide your own title for your new site keep in mind you can always change this once the WordPress is installed 
something new to factor authentication it's basically an app giving you an additional layer of security when logging in to your WordPress site you may choose to enable it I tend to not enable that it's basically a plugin I've tested it out it does a good job you may like to have that enabled if you want okay limit login attempts yes you should definitely install this plugin because it's a great plugin advanced settings let's manage that on our own database management let's choose the database that we've created earlier the username for that was this here so let's change that the password for that database was this here let's copy and paste that in there as well the table prefix you should definitely change that so it's not a default thing let's give that table prefix backup location you can backup externally if you want and if you own a different web hosting account you can provide FTP details so therefore it's backed up externally let's select this option for this tutorial automatic backups as you can see using one click apps you can actually have automatic backups depending on web hosting account features that you have let's select this and now let's press on install WordPress now once the installation process has completed now we can press on our domain name and we'll have our WordPress site installed now before we log in I just want to show you what happened as far as the file and folder structure is concerned let's press on files press on file manager go to document root here as you can see all the previous files that we had for our static site is actually still there and index.html is renamed to something else to prove the point let's go and request this particular URL from our site that WordPress has already installed itself let's request that URL you can see it's still there now this is smart to leave in place till your WordPress site is all ready fully optimized and so on because if we deleted everything then if search engines like Google come and request this page while that um, transfer is going on then they will see page not found errors now WordPress has gone ahead created its own default WordPress files anything that starts with WP hyphen is to do with WordPress this particular file WP hyphen config hyphen sample we can safely delete this because we don't need it anymore because we've got the proper one here so let's go and see where our one click apps is installed so now we can press on this at any time backup and to log in we can press on this url either one let's go to admin it should redirect to login page oh it's already logged me in i don't want that i want to show you how to log in as well let me log out now we have the limit login attempts all enabled let's press on remember me and let's log in now at this stage you can press on pages and simply create new pages for your blog posts you'll press on posts and create posts now I'll quickly touch base with the settings here let's press on settings we'll go to general settings here you can change your tagline or your site title date formats 
make changes. So I'll actually fly through. Let's go to writing. Here, we'll leave most things in default. Let's go to reading. Okay, while here, let me show you how we can quickly add pages. Let's imagine the WordPress goes ahead, automatically creates about us page or a sample blog post. So you can actually delete that. Let's delete that as well. Put them in trash bin. It's in trash. We can always permanently delete. Permanently delete what is within the trash. So now let's go and add a couple of new pages so that I show you. Let's say this is a home page. Let's publish. And let's also add another one and call that blog. Let's publish that as well. Let's press on settings, go to reading. Here now we can select static pages. For front page, let's call it home. For blog posts, let's call it blog. We can change the number of blog posts to show. Let's save changes. Let's go look at our pages. Here our home page, if we view it, this is our home page we can now populate. If we look at our blog posts, our, all our blog posts will be here. Let's go back to our dashboard. I'll quickly show you the menus as well. Before I do that, let's press on appearance. Because WordPress is very user friendly. That means with just few clicks, you can change the theme and the whole structure and design of your website. Let's select this particular one, activate that. Yeah, that theme is activated. We could easily customize it, look at the details. But let's go and refresh our home page. And voila, we're using a different theme. We have plugins installed. Let's press on plugins to see there is an update. Let's activate this. What about update a kismet? The kismet is to do with comment moderation. We can activate it. We can delete Hello Dolly if we want to keep our WordPress site nice and clean. Now, let's look at permalinks, settings, permalinks. Here you can change the permalink to be custom if you want. That's for blog. You can have any structure that you want. You can simply search Google with this. Read more about permalinks. You can actually have .html version for your WordPress site as well, if that is what you want. Let's save changes. Now, before we close up, I just want to show you one more thing, which I believe you'll find of use to you. When you log into your web hosting manager, let's press on domains, let's press on redirects, because you move your static HTML site to WordPress. There may be some file names, as in web pages that you have, that you will no longer need on your WordPress site. If that's the case, you can actually do redirection. Redirect all page name, perhaps it was HTML, to, to their new counterparts and so on okay that's very smart to do now at this stage before we close up i just wanted to mention a couple of important points that you may like to consider using for your new wordpress site now we've installed wordpress it's all going your web hosting file manager you may have your old static html files now once your wordpress site is all ready with your new content it's now safe to go in there and delete your previous static HTML files. 
because your WordPress does not need them anymore. Furthermore, pay close attention to 3i1 redirection, meaning some of your old pages will be still important, especially if you've copied the old content and placed them on your new WordPress site, certain pages and so on. Particularly if that is the case, then utilize 3i1 redirection. For pages that you no longer want from your old site, you can basically ignore everything as far as 3i1 is concerned because there is no new content as counterparts for those old pages that you no longer wish to have on your new WordPress site. Furthermore, when you log into your Google Webmaster Tools, depending on the XML sitemap plugin you're using, finally, you should make sure that Google Webmaster Tools is aware of your new sitemap. Okay, that is very important, or else things may take a bit of time for Google to update its database, its rankings, and all that stuff. Rank Your YouTube channel does have WordPress Essentials training course showing you how to use your new WordPress dashboard. Furthermore, I have premium WordPress SEO courses as well that you may like to consider checking out. Either case, I am wishing your new WordPress site greatest possible success on internet and I'll talk with you in the next video session.